Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marital Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. John, chapter 6, verses 52 to 59. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as a living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is a bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. These things he said while teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. If we were to take everything that is said literally, then either we are robots or Drax from the Guardians of the Galaxy. Our human experience is imbued with subtleties and nuances that makes life both interesting and confusing. And two important takeaways from today's Gospel is to leave room for interpretation and not to jump to conclusions before gathering more information. In other words, Many, if not all, of our past regrettable actions, or shall I say reactions, could have been avoided if we took a moment to listen and attempt to understand something or someone we found initially perplexing, rather than letting whatever snap judgments that surface best us. A helpful guide to live more mindfully and meaningfully can be taken from a Jesuit theologian by the name of Bernard Larnigan and his work on self-appropriation, that is, the need for total surrender to the demands of the human spirit, which can be done through being attentive, being intelligent, being reasonable, and most importantly, being in love. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and meaningful day. If you enjoyed today's gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at marynollsociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at marynollmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.